The sizes of the angles in degrees of a triangle are 2x add 9, x add 13 and x subtract 8. Work out the value of x. Now we know that the angles inside any triangle always sum to 180 degrees. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add together the angles that we've been given and equate it to 180 degrees. We've now formed an equation which we can solve. Before we solve this, I'm going to simplify it. So we have 2x, add x, add x. In total, that is 4x. We then have 9, add 13, which is 22. Subtract 8, which is 14. So we have 4x plus 14 equals 180. This is far simpler now and far easier for us to solve. And we now need to solve this equation. To do that, we're trying to get x on its own on one side of the equation. So I somehow need to get rid of the 4 that's in front of the x and get rid of the plus 14 that's on the end. The first thing that I'm going to do is get rid of the plus 14. The inverse of adding 14 is subtracting 14. So we are going to subtract 14 from both sides of the equation. On the left hand side, we will have 4x. And on the right hand side, we will have 166. The final thing I need to get rid of is the 4 that is in front of the x. Now 4x means 4 multiplied by x. The inverse of multiplying by 4 is dividing by 4. And so I am going to divide both sides of this equation by 4. On the left, we will have x. And on the right hand side, we need to do 166 divided by 4. So I'm going to use my bus stop method to do that. First of all, we're doing how many whole groups of 4 go into 1? Well, I can't get any groups of 4 into 1. I'm then going to carry that one over and do 4s into 16. Well, 4 goes into 16 four times with no remainder. Now we are doing how many whole groups of 4 can I get into 6? Well, I can get one whole group of 4 into 6. I still have a remainder of 2 though. And so what I'm going to do is put a decimal point and a few zeros inside my bus stop so that I've now got somewhere to carry this to. The decimal point can go straight up above the bus stop. I'm now doing how many whole groups of 4 go into 20? Well, 4 goes into 20 five times with no remainder. And so I know that x is equal to 41.5.